What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, dude? Yo. What's up? What's oh, up? It must What's snap, up? Anthony Presti. <laughs> <laughs> today guys I'm doing pretty good we are of course in New York City again the theme the theme of today's video is going to be it is freezing cold in New York City I escaped Canada to New York for the week assuming that it would at least be a little bit warmer it's it's not even the temperature it's like the wind like every time there's a gust of wind it just cuts through every piece of clothing you're wearing and it makes you want to just curl up in a ball and die. There's been a line outside of like every single store today. We went to Supreme, huge line. Palace, there was a line. There was a line everywhere. I don't understand how people are willing to stand in a line with this temperature. I mean, I weigh 12 pounds, so I have like no insulation on my body, so it's a little bit worse for me than the average person. We are at round two right now. There's actually a little bit of a line here as well. Smaller line though, smaller line. I don't know if there's anything I'm gonna purchase around to at this point. I'm just happy to go into any store that has heating because it is freezing. All right, the first thing that's catching my eye here is the Aaliyah May Jordan 1 collab. Tons of you guys have assumed that I would probably love these because I love Jordan 1s. This is trash. This is trash. Aaliyah May, I don't even freaking know who you are, but I don't like you because you made this. Come on, do better. I know, like, you, you, some of you guys kill me for talking too much trash about shoes. I'm gonna tell you how I feel, man. This is ugly. It's corduroy. It's this carpet on the swoosh. It's just, like, look, this is, this is awesome. Same color, terrible. It's just like they bastardized the Jordan 1 shadows and put corduroy on it. And now it costs, how much are they selling for? $450. Guys, I, I, I love the Jordan 1, but this, this might be one of the worst hyped up colorways of the shoe I've ever seen in my life. I've, ooh, concepts. Ooh, I remember, okay, T. Blake did a video of these. I remember T. Blake's video on these. You remember these? Yep. These are so nice. I almost forgot I own these. I'm not gonna lie to you. Until like 10 seconds ago, I almost forgot I own these. Speaking of Jordan 1s, I don't have. I found these here too. Are these my size, actually? Uh, size 11, so a little bit too small, but the Baron Jordan 1s, the leather's actually pretty good on these. I haven't picked them up and felt them too many times. I don't know what it is about these. I mean, it's really clean, and it's black and gray and white. These are all things I like about the Jordan 1. Like, clean, simple, to wear nice basic colorway the, the pinstripes just kill it for me I really don't know why because you can barely see them if you're wearing pants with them but the pinstripes just kill it for me and tons of you guys are asking dude why haven't you picked up the Barons that's honestly the reason is the pinstripes on the middle because these don't even go for that much I mean they're $150 right now in a size 11 worn if these were a size 12 I might honestly scoop them just just for the banter I mean $150 it's not the end of the world I could all sell them if I decided I didn't really want them but I don't know what it is. The pinstripes really kill it for me. You cop at anything? No. What? You're not even going to get this? No. <laughs> what? It's, it's fire. All right, that is round two. Now out into the winter. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, it is so cold. Right now we're trying to go grab lunch. We're stopping at this place called the Black Tap. I was here a couple weeks ago, last time I was in New York, and they have really, really good burgers, but more importantly, they have some of the craziest milkshakes on earth. They have like regular milkshakes, and then they have like mega milkshakes that cost $16. That's right, a freaking milkshake that costs $16. I haven't seen how ridiculous this is. I feel like if it's $16, it better be pretty ridiculous. Whipped cream, chocolate chips, a brownie in the middle, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to eat the brownie, more chocolate chips, and then a chocolate milkshake. Is that worth $16 to you? I don't know if this is worth $16, but I just spent six, how do you even start to eat this? Like what is the first thing you do? I don't even have a spoon. Oh. 
The burger was really good. Milkshake is great. Would I recommend spending $16? I can't even finish this. If you're gonna come here and get the milkshake, either don't eat for two days. Like, if it's the end of Ramadan for you, then come here and get the milkshake and burger. If it's not, then just come here and get the milkshake. It, it was really good though. It was actually really good. So if you guys checked out yesterday's video, you saw the crazy shoes that were sitting at Rare Pair last night when we came in. And they were both really expensive, but I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And I mean, I just don't think I'm gonna find them for a better price. So I, I hate to say this. Like, I mean, I really, really hate to say this, but I think we're gonna have to go back and pick them up. We're, we're gonna haggle with the seller a little bit, see if we can get a good price. But I think we're gonna have to go back and pick them up. So, the shoes are still here, thankfully. We're phoning the seller right now to see if he can maybe hack a little bit off the price. He's asking a grand right now. We're gonna see what's the best he can do. Hopefully he just wants to sell them, get the cash, because I mean, he dropped these off and he dropped these off, another pair of the top threes. So maybe he's just trying to make a quick buck. Maybe I can save a couple dollars. Sammy from Rare Pair. Sorry. Yes, I met, I met you yesterday. Yeah, we have someone in the store right now that's interested in the size 12 in the um, Jordan 1. But um, you told me like if it was a situation where they're gonna walk out and just to call you. So he, he doesn't want to pay a thousand, but he's asking like if the seller would be willing to do any better than the thousand. All right, cool. All right, thank you. So um, you'll get an email soon um, with the sale. That was that was really easy. Yeah. That was really really easy. Yeah. We just knocked a hundred. Yeah, I thought because you know what he put them in here for yesterday. A grand. He put them here for eleven. Oh, we put them for and eleven. And then we, we brought it down to a thousand. So it's so actually, we knocked two hundred dollars off yeah, the price without even arguing. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Guys, we got them. We got them. We're gonna take. Actually, you know what? Let's bust these out right here. I know we already took a took a look at them yesterday, and there's a pair right there. But this this one's my pair. So this one's this one's the good pair right here. Oh my goodness, this is by far the most expensive shoe I've ever purchased in my life. Like by far. Previous to this, it's been the Yeezy Breads that I got for 520, which is a really good price for those. Because they go for like around 800 right now. These are so, I, I don't know what I'm gonna wear these. I'm gonna wear these like next time I win a Grammy and on my wedding. Besides that, I really don't know what I'm gonna wear these. But I mean, for the price and just how dope these are, and I mean, I'm, I love Jordan 1's. I couldn't not pick these up. These are really, wow, these are really nice. Which one do you guys like better? The uh, the left shoe or the right shoe? I think I like the right shoe better. I just like that white mid panel and the gold on the toe box. I know some people are gonna say this one looks a lot like the OG gold patent leather one, so maybe they like that one better, but let me know down in the comment section below which one you prefer. I also like the black tongue on these. 100% the black tongue looks better than the white tongue. That being said, they both look awesome. What would have been crazy is if they put like translucent, shiny gold with gold flecks on the bottoms on both of them. I know they did black on that one, gold on this one. 900 freaking, what am I doing with my life? I just spent $900 on a pair of shoes. They're nice though, okay, it's worth it. They're nice, I'm not complaining. But seriously, what am I doing with my life? I just spent $900 on a pair of shoes. I'm super, super happy that I was able to pick these up for $900. Like, I know that's a lot of money. I'm not gonna act like it's not, but thankfully I do have the money. I was able to purchase these. I'm gonna keep them dead stock for a little while just to be 100% sure that I want them. Let's be serious though, these things are dope. I'm, I'm probably gonna keep them. I'm going over to the Lower East Side to meet my buddy Aaron. I actually met Aaron lining up for a pair of Adidas and he asked if he could do his impersonation of me. I swear, that is the first words he said. He said, oh, the real Ray Ray. I know this is gonna sound weird, but can I do my impersonation of you? He is a huge Adidas head. I don't even know if he owns a single pair of Nikes or Jordans. He is boost, 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 boost. So I don't know how he's gonna feel about my recent acquisition, but we are going to see nonetheless. And also, a couple weeks ago, I purchased a pair of shoes from him. I sent him the money on PayPal a couple weeks ago, so I've just been waiting to get them. I'm gonna scoop those up today as well. And I know we just ate like a massive burger and milkshake, but I think we're gonna grab some more food too. Because I got clean hands, I'm gonna watch the yeah. colors, but... 
Yeah, I've been seeing those online. Grant. Those are crazy. Hot and leather. That's where people love it. I like those. You know? I kind of love it all day. It's a good look right there. This, this guy has got connects, so he got a good, good, good uh, for them too. I'm loving that. Good, good price. <laughs> good price. <laughs> So y'all, you know, you heard y'all want these. Uh, you hit me, and I forward you to my man's, and you could get snagged out for a good price. <laughs>